What's up, Dirty TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today, we're gonna be checking out Raging Bolt EX with Sandy Shocks EX. This actually is a new uh, new deck coming from Temporal Forces, which is gonna be super fun indeed. But first of all, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You're gonna get more daily Pokemon TCG uploads over here from Temporal Forces and all the latest new decks around. With that being said. We're going to be checking out Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt is a card that actually is very similar to uh, something like Roaring Moon because you can actually go for crazy one-shots. The Bellowing Thunder, 70 damage for every amount of basic energy cards you're willing to discard from your Pokemon. And you can actually get them in play quite easily because of Professor Sada's Vitality. Professor Sada is of course still part of this deck and uh, we do have access to it uh, with uh, some turbo shenanigans. Four Poke Gear in here to find it, some tracking shoes to be a little bit turbo as well. We have the Ace Pack Prime Catcher in the deck as well. And uh, as long as the opponent has taken two prize cards, you can actually accelerate a basic energy, um, uh, fighting energy from your discard pile to the Sandy Shocks. So at one point the Sandy Shocks will just keep on absorbing the energies and that's why we're playing uh, three copies of that. You can absorb energies while using Sada so you can get for crazy one hit KOs with the bellowing thunder of the raging bolt raging bolt also has 240 hp and no weakness whatsoever because you're a dragon type for the one prize pokemon we have one copy of the slitherwing and we also have one copy of the Coridon. so uh, for every ancient pokemon in play you can slap more damage very great this Coridon. and uh, the cool thing is you can get this back easily with the uh, means of super rod also big uh, amount of pokey stop in here so you can go really turbo with a deck like this so we still have squack ability and the cool thing is we also have a uh, grabber which actually is going to be able to let the opponent break a little bit very great against charizard your opponent reveals their hand you can put a pokemon you find her on the bottom of their deck so uh, that's the sandy shocks uh, Raging Bolt deck and uh, you guys also should check out the sponsor for today's video There is uh, dragonshield.com for 5% off You can use the coupon Zablus5 over on dragonshield for sleeves, binders and deck boxes There's yourplaymat.com to create your own custom playmat from scratch You can uh, get 10% off with of course clicking the link down below or using the coupon tcg 10 yp There's potownstore.com for your TCG live code card needs You can use the coupon tcg for 5% off on the codes uh, over at potownstore.com and cardmarket.com is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. You can use the referral name ZabluisTCG to help support the channel. With that being said, we have entered a game and uh, we are playing the Raging Bolt deck. And uh, Raging Bolt always wants to go second. Just back in the days of uh, Roaring Moon EX. I've played Roaring Moon EX a lot uh, during the Paradox Rift meta. And now Raging Bolt uh, has a little bit of soft support as well uh, in the heart. So... Uh, I can go first, the opponent decides uh, I can go first, that's fine. We have uh, Raging Bolt already, it also comes back with an attack, if you are bricking you can actually use Burst Raw to discard your hand and draw 6 cards, so that's also something you could do. Okay, looks like we're up against the uh, Maridon deck, the cool thing is that we have Sandy Shocks which can instantly hit for weakness, which is totally awesome, we also don't have low HP Pokemon so that helps out a ton. We're going to be starting off with a trekking shoe first. It's a Sada, but the problem is I already have Sada in hand, so I'm actually going to discard it. And uh, there is an energy right here. That's also not too great. I'm just going to have to attach here to this Raging Bolt, and that's about it. Our hand is actually pretty damn bad. Let's be honest. We will need to save this energy for something like uh, Greninja, Nazball. We also didn't find Squack Ability. We didn't find any of our uh, yeah cards like Nazball, Ultra Ball, etc. So... We have to make do with a uh, Raging Bolt. The cool thing is that Sandy Shocks can definitely do some work at one point. There's a Techno Raider. The Maridon could actually slap huge damage and they're going to be able to take three prize cards, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to have to go for the Burst Roar. That's so silly. It is so silly indeed. They're playing the Future Box. We've uh, played with that deck before, so we know what it's capable of. They're probably gonna go for Peak Acceleration, slap about like 80 to 100 damage onto a Raging Bolt, and uh, that's where things could go wrong horribly. An attachment, it's actually a Grass attachment, so they are playing some Grass uh, in the deck as well. Yeah, we do have Sada, but nothing else, and uh, we do have a Tree Retreat cost, so that's gonna be very difficult to do something with that. Peak acceleration, 80 damage, and then the Iron Hand ZX is getting powered up. What can we do in this situation? It's not looking too good. Also, they didn't seem to be having too much going around. Just an attack and that's about it. Okay, we have a Vessel. This helps out ridiculously. So I'm going to get rid of this. There we go. 
and I'm actually gonna get two fighting energies right here. If this one goes down, we can use uh, Sandy Shocks, which is actually super nice, which can hit for weakness. Uh, currently, I'm actually just gonna slap this down. We could already knock out this Maridon. They only have two energies on the uh, fella over there, so I, I'm actually gonna go for this, slap this down. I'm gonna go for Professor Sada's Vitality. Yeah, there we go. Putting a lightning energy on this guy. I think I'm, I might get knocked out here, so that's why we're doing this attachment here. We draw that attachment of the turn there. Sandy Shocks here. Raging Bolt there. And let's go for the Bellowing Thunder. And we're actually gonna be discarding the energies from the Raging Bolt. Because yeah, we do have we might have fine Sada and stuff, but the problem I see here is that this guy could respond, and uh, if they are able to respond, that's gonna be pretty bad. So I'm gonna go with this strategy. It's only a one price Pokemon, but at least they're not gonna be able to accelerate more stuff. And we do find Nazball, which means we can find Radiant Greninja, which means we can draw a little bit deeper into the deck to find our next. Sada. And if they happen to attack with this guy, we can actually respond instantly with the Sandy Shocks. Techno Radar. They can, of course, use Arm Press to knock us out, but that's only gonna give them two prize cards, and then we're gonna lead the prize race, and they will no longer win. They also need a Heavy Baton on the... Oh, they have Iron Treads. Interesting. Actually, there's a one prize Pokemon, which is a dual type both fighting and metal. There's a switch card, they're gonna have to sacrifice the one prize Pokemon. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing here. We're gonna have to maybe find a uh, switch card. There's a Pokestop though, and don't, I don't wanna use Pokestop to help them out. We're gonna go for Nazball, find Radiant Greninja. I'm gonna check real quick here. Sada's still in there, switch card as well. Okay. Sada is in there and switch card as well. Concealed cards, here we go. There's a grabber, we can see what they have. Hmm, Poke Gear. We don't, we don't have Sada, that's so silly. Okay, whatever. Uh, we could go for Balsasaurus to like trap something. That's an option. We can Ultra Ball, ah, Squackability's not doing anything. I think we're gonna have to go for Pokestop here. There's no other way. Pokestop. Okay, we have Palpad. That's actually pretty huge. The Palpad is definitely gonna help out here. We're gonna get back these. This guy is still stuck though, which is nice. We also don't have any energies. And uh, we could see Grabber to see what they, they come back with, but we could also wait with that. For currently, I could play Boss. And maybe they're trapped. And then maybe we can one-shot this guy. Hmm. Could already play boss and then Sada, this, this, fine energies, one shot. Yeah, I'll just boss. If they don't have any answers, they're still stuck. Regardless. We're gonna end the turn. Let's go. What do they have in hand? They're probably gonna have to go Pokestop because they're bricking. We are also a little bit bricking, but uh There's Pokestop. They discard literally everything. I don't know what they have in hand, but Iron Crown still stuck. If we have one energy, we can burst Roar, at least. Currently under Discord Pile, four energies. There's a Town Store. Uh, we are not playing any tool cards whatsoever. Actually, we have the Energy Boost Capsules. Yeah, what am I saying? We can get 60 additional HP. They can get out of the active position, I suppose. But they're not equipping it quite yet. Okay. Town Store. Let's get this. How many energies do we actually have? Yeah, we still have three vessels as well. Three vessels and and five energies. That's kind of crazy. What do they have in hand? Iron leaves. Let's put that to the bottom of the deck. And to up our chances, I'm actually gonna super rot, but not all energies. I'm actually gonna get rid uh, get this guy in there. Just two fighting energies. Yeah. Shuffle those in. So if we draw into them, 
we can draw with ninja. And with this giving us 60 additional HP, we are actually out of harm's way with arm press, which is super nice. Okay, that's cool. Okay, now if we draw an energy, we might draw a little bit deeper to actually find Sada. And they just have a future energy boost capsule in hand and that's all they have. They can equip it, retreat it, but we <laughs> there's a the town store again. This is going back and forth. It's ancient box against future box and we both don't have a lot. They have heavy baton now currently in hand. Counter catcher, Greninja. Yeah, they could. Yo, that counter catcher crazy. We have a Nazball. What can we fetch with Nazball, to be honest? We can get Koridon. Slitterwing is actually a pretty great one as well, even though it's also a two prize liability. Nazball. Maybe this is actually not too bad. Just thin in the deck. I'm not gonna put the uh, energy boost capsule on the fellas quite yet. I'm gonna ultra ball all this stuff away so we can actually draw into an energy or a sada here because this is not looking good. Even, yeah, an energy, if our rating Greninja goes down, even if they have an energy, they only like they would need two energies. We're going back and forth. Greninja still stuck. Down store again. Come on, man. EXP share, sure. Everyone gets all the tools in the world, but yeah, heavy baton is now finally equipped. It. Future energy boost capsule is now equipped, it. and that's where the fun ends. Come on, energy. Energies, let's go. Can I get rid of the grabber? Finally getting myself energies. There's lightning in the discard pile and some fighting energies as well. Let's take these. Is there anything else I can grab with Town Store? No, there is not. Sure. Let's go for concealed cards. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Tracking shoe, getting the Pokestop. Nope. Pokey gear will find Sada finally. Okay, currently we cannot one shot unless we find switch card, right? Professor Sada. Lightning fighting. There's a still a Pokestop though. Pokestop. Here we go. Switch card, where are you? <laughs> Double Sada. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay. Either way, I will actually retreat. Into Raging Bolt. And, uh, yeah, maybe I should have retreated to this guy. Can get the Ancient Energy Boost Capsule here to have more HP. And then I can discard my hand, draw more cards. And go from there. Here we go. I did discard like so many Sadas. Luckily we still have another Sada here. We have Prime Catcher. So we will go on the offensive offensive strategy real quick. And as soon as they knock something out, uh, we actually are able to use Sandy Shocks, which is super nice. We still have a Super Rod as well, which we can use. I wonder if they're gonna get able to get out of this situation. Maybe we should just Sada onto Sandy Shocks. There's a research. Because there's a heavy baton on the Iron Hands. There's another one prize we ride on. They could technically go for that. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going for. We are technically weak against Grass. This guy puts 90 damage onto itself. One 
100 damage, still not enough. Oh, what a what a strange game. Yeah, the iron hands can technically 200 damage. One, two, three of these, sure. Where are these energies going to afterwards? Urgent vessel. Get rid of the squawk. Let's get these fighting energies. Go for the Professor Sada. Fighting energy here. Lightning energy there. Yeah, we have the switch card, so we can reset the attack effect. Or we can, yeah. I'm actually gonna prime catcher this guy. One shot it. All the rest is okay. Then we can switch guard to reset the attack effect. Boom! Iron hand. <laughs> I just can see. <laughs> what was that? We were breaking like crazy, both of us. Well, sometimes you can have games like that. It's fine. We weren't even able to showcase the sandy shocks being able to uh, get back the energy spot. Typically, this is a very favorable matchup. If we are able to go into the game, it's a very, very favorable matchup. So Future Box probably loses a lot against Raging Bolt, Sandy Shucks. It's a funky deck. Let's try out another game. Hopefully this time I will be able to like showcase the Sandy Shocks in action. And also, uh, the Poké Stops will be a little bit less kind. A little bit less. Uh, hopefully, they will be less kind to me. Actually, way more kind to me. Uh, I want to go second because they were very, very awkward. The Poké Stops discarding all these Sados after I've already used Palpat. Okay, we start off with our preferred Pokémon, Raging Bolt. We have Urton Vessel. Looks like we are up against another Future Box. Sure. Take those. Easy peasy. And we go second as well. And we have access to Sandy Shocks. Okay. We will need to get four energies into play in order to use Bellowing Thunder to one shot. On the other hand, 240, we are out of range from any Iron Hands doing anything. What can we do? There's, of course, us having access to Radiant Greninja. And Radiant Greninja does give up two prize cards with MP very much. Here we go, Nazball. We can either go for Squawk, but Squawk does give up three prize cards. Luckily, Squawk is prized. It was a little bit tempting to go with that. Uh, I'll take this. There's three Sadas in the deck. A couple of Poké Gear could help as well. Three Poké Gear, sure. Let's go with this. I will Urgent Vessel that Fighting Energy. Get myself Lightning and Fighting Energy. And I will go for Concealed Cards. I will get rid of a Fighting Energy. Yeah, more stuff. Sure, we currently have two Fighting Energies in the Discard Pile. And that's well. We could... Another Raging Bolt. Sandy Shocks can, can also get Amped, by the way, but they will need a lot to do that. And we already have a Sandy Shocks in hand. Sandy Socks is actually the way you can actually one-shot this guy easily. Uh, here we go, Poke Stop. Come on. Sados. Poke Gears. Oh, that's actually very scary for the opponent. Okay, we cannot attack with Sandy Socks quite yet, but we can, of course, start up energies to both of these Pokemon if we find it. No, Sada. That's so silly. Sure, if we have no Sada, I'll just attach here. Slap down Sandy Shocks over here. I will Ultra Ball. Get rid of some more stuff. Get another Raging Bolt. I don't think I will need more. Sure. And then I will. There's currently so many stuff currently in the Discard Pile. It's fighting, fighting, and all that. I'll actually Super Rod. Two energies back. And then I will go for the 
burst roar. So even if you're bricking again, oh, this is actually not bad. Attach, Sada, you're gone. You're gone. We can slap. Uh, there's an Iono on top of this. What? We didn't have any energy, so it's fine. But we had a Sada. Now we have Sada again and energy. That's fine. They're going down. Raging Bolt's gonna take down. Yeah, now that I think about it, the Maraid on there, we need Prime Catcher. Prime Catcher shenanigans. They got a generator. That's scary. Did give up an Iono for it. Only one energy. And there's a town store. Only 60 damage. Okay, we can just put an ancient energy boost capsule on it. And they literally done nothing. Okay, first of all, since we do already have Sada, I'm actually gonna town store. Get an ancient energy boost capsule. Then I will. We can switch card as well, by the way. Pokey stop. Just get rid of this. One, two. Greninja time. Okay, let's see what they have. They have research. You research on energy, okay. Trying to don't need any this anymore. Nazbo. Trying to don't need this anymore. More stuff, crazy. Okay. If we find Prime Catcher, that would be so totally crazy. It would be. Nazbo can get another one of these out. This is a a one price Pokemon. It's actually not too bad. Slitterwing with the, this guy. That's actually not too bad. But we da we do damage ourselves though. We do damage ourselves. Can put a fighting and a lightning. Fighting here. Could put fighting there as well, and then. Gusty Iron Hands, if we have it, but we do damage ourselves, which is actually a little bit tricky. Maybe it's just better off going with this. No Prime Catcher, though. Thank you. It's a Bell Bat, yes. I will Pokestop first. We have the Prime Catcher! We have the Prime Catcher combo. Okay. Um, attachment of the turn here. We prime catcher this guy. We switch guard. I should have switch guard and then do some stuff later. Whatever. Could have this could have gone, could have gone better. More HP. Foul pad Sada. And off we go. Bellowing Thunder. One, two, three, four. Boom! Okay. Ah, uh, Prime Catcher, too broken. One, two. Okay. So they can try and set up another Iron Hands. Uh, we could... We cannot use Boss currently. Because we need to use Sada to do at least something. But the Sandy Sharks can then respawn quite easily. Maybe I should have not slapped down that Slitherwing. Because Slitherwing does damage itself, which is a very bad situation against uh, Iron Hands. They're gonna have to use Research, right? They have Research in hand. <laughs> Maybe they've already uh, closed down the TCG app. No, they don't. Two Iron Crowns. Pokestop discarding. Yeah, they have Generator, but no Iron Hands. Meaning they will need to Research the Electric Generator. Five energies under this car, pal. I have to discard additional energies. That's gonna be six, seven. Not a lot of energies left. Not a lot of energies left.
Maybe we could get away by cutting the grabber, but the grabbers are so great against Charizard, and Charizard is a difficult matchup, so... If we're able to let them brick, that would be nice. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna research away in energy? Okay, they're gonna research the energy and the generator, so... Seven energies in play, six in discard pile. Techno Raider does find Iron Hands. They're getting rid of the Baton. Iron Hands is back. And the Gift Energy goes onto the Iron Hands. And then Peak Acceleration, sure. This Raging Bolt has been damaged quite a bit, and they did discard Heavy Baton, which I found very crazy. They could take three prize cards on the Raging Bolt. They could. Uh, I will go for... They did two Ionas in discard pile, right? Two Ionas in discard pile. Poke Gear. We have balls, but no way to do anything, so we're gonna have to go for Sada. Sada, we're gonna put lightning energy here, fighting energy. Yeah, they're gonna have trouble with Raging Bolt, but they're also gonna have trouble with Sandy Shocks with... I'll put it over here. Okay, fighting energy there. Let's check out what they have. They have boss. No hand disruption, though. One super rod there. No hand disruption. With no hand disruption, I think this is fine. I'm not going to be doing anything else. I'm just going to go one shot this right on. One, two, and it's gone. And now they're gonna have to come with it Iron Hands, right? But if they put a Baton on the Iron Hands, we can put the rest in safe way, right? We can put Ancient Energy Boost Capsule to a Sandy Shocks, and we should be good. Yeah, they could Amp and knock out Raging Bolt for three prize cards. We don't have any disruption as well, so they're going for Arvin. They do have Boss in hand, by the way. They need Baton. Yeah, they're gonna have Baton, another Iron Hands, and then if they have a full bench Iron Hands with... They could have 220 damage output, so... 220 damage output is scary. They do have Balls already in hand. Attachment there. MP very much with three prize cards. Yowza. Okay, this is an issue, because this guy could get knocked out quite easily, I might add. But maybe, maybe it is better for us to actually not knock this guy out, but knock this guy out. Pokemon, they could have another amp. They could. Hmm. 200 damage. Maybe we should have gone after an Iron Crown here. Ah, do we have another Switch card left? No, we do not. We don't have another switch card left. Yeah, they could still... They need a lot. Three energies go there. They need an energy. They need balls. They need... But this also is there, which is scary. So, with that being said, put energy boost capsule here. Going for magnetic absorption. Hmm. Magnetic absorption. Yeah, this is an issue, right? This is an issue. Maybe I should have promoted Raging Bolt and knocked out an Iron Crown. And then we are safe out of harm's way. I could still lose because of ha them having energy, future energy boost capsule and more. So in this scenario, Pokegear, getting the Sada, there's no... There's still a pokey, uh, a, yeah, pokey stop in there. 
there's still a pokey stop in there. Is there anything else in there? Sandy socks again. Okay. Let's go with this. Sada. Lightning here. Lightning there. Yeah, the Poke Stop is here, which is nice. Put the Poke Stop there. Uh, the Super Raw is not irrelevant. I'll just attach. And then knock them out. Here we go. And then hope they don't have Future Energy Boost Capsule. Because that's the way you can slap 220 onto. And they have need to another Iron Crown as well. The Gift Energy does activate though. So they could still win if they amp for 220 damage output which is scary oh three future energy boost cap they're all gone they are all gone what am i worrying about why am i worried in the first place they can only amp for 200 now yeah that's the game that is the game yeah i, I should have checked their discard pile real quick but yeah, the future boxes do have a tough against Sandy Shocks, which powers itself up easily. There's a Poke Stop, there's Generator, there's Techno Raider. We only need one more prize card, by the way, so. They can go for 200. But uh, I don't have a Pokemon in play any longer that can get one shot it and then give them three prize cards. They couldn't actually go after Greninja or whatever, or maybe Slither Wing, but that's about it. Do they even have Balsasaurus? Yeah, they had Balsasaurus before. I saw that with the Grabbers. So, there's another Iron Hands. They, they're gonna trap something, maybe try to deck us out. Amp you very much. Reboot pot. Okay, what now? We can just attach. Sada? Do we have a Sada left? Pokemon trainers. Yeah, we have Sada's left. Right? Sada, attach, and KO. They could try and deck us out. That's their game plan currently, right? Wait, yeah. <laughs> That's a funky game plan. Uh, but it's not working. Sada. That's all right. That's the only energy I need. Attachment. And let's go for Burning Turbulence. Now the Slitherwing joins the party. Puts 90 on itself as well, but it's a one prizer that can take down Iron Hands as well. Okay, there was a Sada prize, but yeah, pretty much uh, easy peasy against Future Box. Can we find another deck out there on the ranked ladder that is not Future Box? Everyone's in the in the hype of the Iron Hands. Taking those additional prize cards is always fun, right? But uh, let's be honest. Are you going to be able to win tournaments with it? It's a good deck, though. Okay, next opponent. Will they allow us to go first or second? Very important. And can we finally get like a turn one reasonable setup? Uh, we haven't used Squackability at all. That would have been better with Battle VIP Pass, I agree. The opponent is deciding which deck wants to be going first. Will it be? You will go first. Okay, another deck that wants to go second. Could this be Mill? I have no idea what I'm up against. Mulligan though. Okay, we start off with Raging Bolt. Sure. I'm not gonna start off with Ninja. I don't know what I'm up against. If I'm up against Snorlax, I'd lose instantly. <laughs> so we're not doing that. Well, seven cards in their hand. Come on, show us what you're made of. 
What deck are you playing? It is a Lost Box deck. Okay. We can take that. Uh, Greninja. We can mess the ball. Fetch one prize Pokemon, Karai done. We can... Tracking Shoes. There's an energy. Do I want it? Do I really want it? Probably, yes. So I can dig a little bit deeper with Greninja. There's Sada and Squackabilly. And I don't want to slap down Squackabilly against the Lost Box matchup. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. Hmm. Interesting, right? Could get another Pokemon out. Could actually Squack here, but... Squackabilly. I don't even know which kind of version of the Lost Box it is. So I think I'll just hang on. Hang on to what we have. And next turn, I'll Sala attach and KO this Cramorant. Buddy Buddy Puffin. Double Comphase. Yeah, the problem is that this could be Turbo Lost Box with Frenzied Gouging. Which is that something they need to do because we have 240 HP, but they will already be able to spit with their incredible setup. Two Buddy Buddy Puffins. Actually, two Comfies in play thanks to Buddy Buddy Puffin and using Chorus as well. That is spelling out bad news. The good news at least is that if they spit innocently, they need to do it again. And I am still not knocked out, which is nice. All of our Pokemon have a high amount of hit points. Didn't slap down Squackability as well. Oh, it is Giratina, all right. They're switching out, they're gonna go for that Abyss Seeking, knowing that we are not able to uh, one-shot Giratina. We are at 210, yeah. If I attached on the turn, they probably would have not gone for that strategy. Yeah. That's not good. Switch card down the drain. Hmm. Ultra Ball. Get rid of this. Get rid of Super World. Nah. Maybe a Lumenion here would also not be bad. Sandy Shocks. Slither Wing. Also not great. Probably gonna have to be another one of these, but if we go down, we can actually absorb all the stuff, right? Let's go! Find energies, hopefully. Nope, no energies in sight. Grab her. Tina V Star, go down to the bottom. Sure. They have triple Mirage Gates, no switch out, so maybe we have another turn. Maybe we have another turn. Ancient Energy Boost Capsule, we have Foul Pad, which could get Sada back, but we don't need Sada, we need Energy, so... It's just Poke Gear, find Sada, but we, we hopefully top deck Energy, right? Well, now that I think about it, we can actually Burst Roar, what am I saying? <laughs> okay, anyhow, I'll get rid of this, I'll get rid of this. I'll get myself. Weak to Grass is kind of alright, but it has 220 HP, which is less ideal. But I'll still take it to tin the deck. Get this. Get this. Get this. And we Palpat. Double Sada. And we're surviving a lost impact. And it's going to be incredible. Burst Roar. Let's go. Okay, we have Prime Catcher. We're going to take down the Giratina. Or try trying. They have Chorus. They will need some switch outs. Giratina V-Star is at the bottom of the deck, which is kind of hilarious because of Grabber. Yeah, next turn we could go to some ridiculous numbers with attach of the turn, Sada. Then we are at... Will they find Giratina V-Star though? We do have a lot of liability Pokemon on the field, I know. Maybe I should have not slapped down Sandy Shocks quite yet. 
Maybe they're playing Prime Catcher on the Sandy Shocks there. Spit it already, then they can sprinkle it. <clears throat> Not to forget that we also have Coridon, which can, if we do it correctly, cap out at 150. Guess we pokey stop first to make sure we discard and maybe find vessels. Abyss seeking, let's go. Let's go. We don't have any disruption by the way, which is kind of tricky. Let's go for pokey stop first. Maybe we discard energies or find vessels. Yeah. Either way, it's fine. We have them. Vessel, discard this. Finding lightning fighting. Let's go for some Greninja power as well. And protect this guy, of course. Then we go for some Sada action. Fighting for you, lightning for you. Okay, grab her. Save light to the bottom. Four, four Mirage Gates. Jeez. Four Mirage Gates. That's kind of tricky. We're gonna attach here. Yeah, that's about it. We're gonna destroy this guy. Billowing Thunder. One, two... Three, four. Bam. This guy keeps on abyss seeking. They have the Mirage Gaze they can activate. They will have to use their uh, V Star. They have to use their V Star to knock out our Raging Bolt. Unless they are playing Vacuum. Our hand is actually ridiculous. We cannot get Roxanne quite yet. Next turn, we will get Roxanne. So. The cool thing is that as soon as Raging Bolt goes down, the Sandy Sharks can get energies into play, and then we can easily, more easily one-shot Giratina V-Star. Because Path is no longer a card, and Giratina without Path is just less disruptive, let's just say that. But the Burst Roar <laughs> really helping us out in most games. Tina V-Star, sure. Where is the other Tinas? One Tina here, one Tina there. There's a switch card coming. They go to 10, so they will be able to star Requiem, the Raging Bolt and the active slot. What else can we do? Like the Stanley Shocks needs to come and play, otherwise we will not be able to go to the numbers there. So we can absorb an energy, absorb an energy, Sada, energy, energy, that's four, and then a touch of turn goes to five, that's 350, even though we only need 280. So we only need four energies in play. Super Rod, are they gonna snap down another Tina? If they do that, we actually win the game. Because we have Prime Catcher and we can do it all over again. Alright, here they come. Giratina flies itself in the active position. Star Requiem, okay. The one shot V Star attack. But that's all right. We can take him down. So first things first, Sandy Shocks. Then we have five energies in this Carpal, so we can absorb. Magnetic absorption. Magnetic absorption. We will have to attach of the turn here. And then we need to find Sada. I'm actually gonna palp that already proactively so we don't whiff. We can nest ball. I don't want to find Slitterwing. Slitterwing is annoying. Just gonna slap this guy down. 
Gonna go for Pokey Gear, finding the Sada. Sada time. Fighting here, lightning there. More stuff. That's cool. Uh, we're gonna use. We have already one, two, three, four, five energies in play. We're gonna use Grabber. All these gusting cards. <laughs> it's insane. They have Prime Catcher. Yeah, they just concede. Yeah, they're out. They cannot win against the power of Raging Bolt. Yeah, like their hand was so crazy. It's all gusting cards. And we had like all the Salas left in deck. Okay. Yo, if we're up against Tina, we definitely need that turn one attachment so we can turn to Prime Catcher. Prime Catcher's too good. And then it's because we really dig into the deck, you can find it quite easily. Oh, okay, it looks like we do get a Sandy Shocks from this reward. Look at that. Fitting for the video. Sandy Shocks EX. All right. Next game for Raging Bolt, the last of the bunch. And then, uh, yeah, you see that the deck is capable of doing stuff. Uh, it is not the most consistent deck out there, but I also love the uh, inclusion of the grabbers. They are just so annoying. <laughs> Opponent was not able to fetch stuff that they wanted because of that. So it looks like we're probably going to be up against Charizard. Charizard's kind of difficult, but the Rodoms are weak to fighting, and we also can one-shot them quite easily. Might also think about adding a Pokemon Catcher in this list, instead of Grabbers. Or maybe some Water Energies and Greninja situation, E-Switch. All things to think about. Mulligan 1. Here we go. Sandy sucks in the active position. We cannot attack with it unless we go first and attach an energy to it. But we need to find something like switch card. Looks like we're up against Charizard. That's going to be a very difficult matchup for this deck. Unless they only have oh, they have body puffins. That's kind of silly. We can like find grabbers and then slap the first Charmander. Find switch card. Find Prime Catcher. Don't have Rotom either. They just have two Charmanders. They would need Candy, Candy Arvin in hand or Ultra Ball Arvin in hand. Then it's kind of tricky. Attachment on the Charmander. Another Sandy Shocks. Okay, we Vessel first. Get this. Get Lightning Fighting. We have Coridon, which can attack quite easily. And a couple of switch cards as well. I'm actually gonna go a little bit crazy here because of the fact uh, I did see that we have two super rods and with that we can track and shoe. It's a grabber. Grabber is interesting. I'll take it. I will attacking here turn one would be like so crazy. Um, grabber. They have Ultra Ball and we we are toasts. They have Charizard. They have Charizard. What do we do? Ultra Ball. Maybe we could fetch Squackabilly. Even though I don't want to, it's a two price liability, but we can get maybe the first attack off. It doesn't seem good. It doesn't seem good. Yeah, they're not gonna boss it up urgently. We need to get like as many Pokemon and play ASAP. I'm gonna go for this. Gonna attach of the turn here. Nah, I'm not gonna attach of the turn there. I want to maybe get an attack of turn one. Squack. Let's go. We have literally nothing. We have Raging Bolt. We have a Nazball. We can get Greninja out with that. And we can Poke Stop and hopefully find Poke Gear. That's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Um, I will Vessel away to Poke Stop. Get some more stuff. 
Maybe slap this down. Nest ball finding another. We don't have switch card quite yet, right? This is actually not too bad of an attacker. Okay. Tracking shoe first. I'll take it. <laughs> Where's Sada? Tracking shoe. Prime catcher. Yo, that would be cool if we find... I'll take the Prime Catcher. If we're able to fetch something good. Concealed cards. Sada, perfect, okay. Now, we Professor Sada. Fighting energy here. Lightning energy there. We attach of the turn here. We prime catcher. The PG, which is always the annoying factor here. And then we have Palpat already, but I'm gonna try and save it. Here we go. That is gonna Iono though. They will Iono. I might Palpat it, it back just proactively. Energy wise, we're still good. Um, here we go. Coridon, take down the PG. Here we go. First prize card taken. At least I have another pal pad, that's nice. We probably will get Iono because they have Ultra Ball, Rare Candy, and Iono in hand. So I'm expecting Charizard to appear here in combination with an Iono. And then we need to respond to KO this Charizard. Which we cannot do because Sandy Shocks is not alive quite yet. Hmm. How do we do this? But we also only took one prize card. The Defiance Band right there could get the one shot on this Raging Bolt. You get Ultra Ball, they get Vacuum. Unless we actually put an Ancient Energy Boost Capsule on there. And I really wonder what they're going to be doing. If they Iona, if we have energy, Ancient Energy Boost Capsule, we can give a little slap with Raging Bolt. But if they have Arvin, they can fetch Vacuum again. And then our strategy goes down the drain. There's the Zard. Do they already have Counter Catcher? If they have Counter Catcher, we're screwed either way. Yeah, then we are screwed either way. But then two energies are still remaining in play and maybe we can respond to the Zard. Burning Darkness, okay. They just take down this Coridon and we cannot alter their hand. They have the Fines Bands. Uh, currently they are slapping 210, so they knock literally anything out currently everything we could poke gear find boss then take a prize card right there and then see how we go from there yeah that's kind of the strategy right find boss two poke gears can help out with that we also have this energy uh maybe we poke it up first dig a little bit deeper yeah that's cool we dig we dug a little bit deeper poke gear boss that's Sada. That's no boss. Dang. Poke gear boss. No, this is scary. Okay. This is scary. We could still super rod. Get back raging bolt. Get back this guy. And get back lightning energy. And then we we might find switch card, right? Nice ball. Also, this guy's a beast. Switch card. Yeah, if they don't have balls, that's good. But they probably have prime catcher, which is bad. Or no? Okay. Could go for this. Better go for this. But we could technically one shot. We are not gonna be able to. Uh, one shot this guy either way. Maybe we can go for a one prize Pokemon afterwards. Here we go. Concealed guards. What can we get? Oh, this helps. But they have vacuum, which is so silly. They have the vacuum. But the next one 
will not be mattering. Ah, so silly. Zada. Fighting energy, fighting energy. Grabber. Ultra Ball. Have literally all the answers. Oh, did they remove vacuum here? Yeah, the vacuum is gone. Cool. Well, okay. I should definitely check more. Check more on what the opponent is all doing. This over here. They could still counter catch your Sandy Shocks, I suppose. Yeah, they could still do that. They could still counter catch this guy as well. Pal that. Definitely gonna get, bring back these guys. I could go for a roar. 210. Yeah, the Sandy Shocks number one will definitely get knocked out there. And I could just roar to get a, a hand, I suppose, because I don't want to do nothing here. We are at five and five price. Counter catcher does not work. Yeah, that's true. Boss is gone. Counter catcher does not work. We are equal in price rate. That's nice. Close shenanigans here. We don't have a lot of cards left in deck, by the way. Seven. And we need to Sada. And maybe Sada again. Yeah, this deck really goes turbo, man. Insane. We will be able to destroy a Zard, but can we destroy another one? The vacuum is gone. Maybe they whiff under candies and stuff. Ultra Ball Super Rod. Okay, there's two. they get rid of all the Super Rods in the world. Pidja already in hand, knowing that we don't have hand disruption. We could still boss up a Pidgey. We still have boss in deck, right? Sada. It's gonna have to be Sada here. Let's go! Uh, they probably have access. One boss in this car pile. We could switch to Koridon here, save our energies. But if they have Candy Pidgets, they have boss, and then we're knocked out regardless. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're gonna have to try this out. Uh, Belowing Thunder is where it's at. We also could get Ionote, but that's fine, I suppose. Belowing Thunder. One, two, three, four, five. And the Zard goes down. Can we keep this up though? They will Iono us, which means we cannot deck out, which is great, I guess. Another Sada, lots of Sada shenanigans around. So we've taken three prize cards, convincingly. There's a Pokestop. They discard literally their entire deck. Maybe they brick, you never know. No Pidget around, is always good news. Candy, Pidget, okay, they have Pidget. But will they have another candy and another Zard? Iono, okay. They could get five cards and a quick search, and they probably will have what they need. Quick search. We currently have all our supporters on the bottom of the deck, and how many Poke Gears have we already used? Three. Is there still one left in deck? We could check with Nazball, but. The Sandy Shocks can absorb energies. But we definitely need another Sada. Currently in deck, three Sadas. 
in the deck here, there's eight energies. We are out of energies. Are they gonna swing with the Pidgeot? What in the world? All right, we do have switch cards, so we can promote whatever we feel like. Can promote whatever we feel like. Come on, man. It's a Poke Gear. That's nice. Uh, Poke Gear, find Sada, and now we are up and ready to go. Uh, but we do need. Yeah, we do need Super Rod. We're out of energies. Sada. Lightning energy here. Fighting energy here. At least we can get a slap off with Coridon if all things comes to shove. We need Super Rod, but we cannot find it. And they can actually one shot us, which is bad. Magnetic absorption. Magnetic Absorption. Yeah, we definitely need the Super Rock proactively. That's kind of my mistake, I suppose. We can have Pokestop right now, otherwise we discard our Sados, but this is very bad. Switch card here. Yeah, this is bad news. Yeah, I, I wish we would have been able to one-shot this Pidgeot if we just had one energy in deck. Now, Tainscale will go wrong horribly. We can still attack with Sandy Shock, but they will win the prize race eventually. Do they still have enough balls left? Yeah. Of course they have balls left. What are we saying? They are gonna swing with the Zard. Can they get another three candies used already? If there's a candy prize, then we can get an Ancient Energy Boost Capsule. Onto a raging bolt, fella. Things could go all right, but I don't, I don't think so. Luminion is back. Charizard is back. Yeah, that one turn where we didn't find the additional energy for the raging bolt here really is gonna screw with our plan. One hundred and twenty. Also, a boss is always in that turn would have also been okay. Two eighty. Currently just lapping 270. Can we buy a turn here? How many bosses are just two? I don't know if we can buy a turn. It looks scary. We do have Sada. But we don't have the Super Rod to go along with it. So we definitely need to use Pokestop, then Sada, and then go from there. Magnetic Absorption. Mm-hmm, magnetic absorb. Now nah, we cannot do another magnetic absorption, otherwise we will not be able to get there. We need to pokey stop, find super rod there. We do not we do have grabber, but that doesn't do anything. Lightning energy here. Lightning energy here. I could have actually put lightning energy on the sandy shocks there. Would have been better. It would have been better. Yeah. But they probably have answers for, for it because we currently have nothing. I want to see what they actually have. Uh, I'm going to shuffle in the last energy. Grabber, Rodom, Counter Cash. Maybe, yeah. Uh, but most of these lists do run more bosses or so. We're just going to swing around for one turn with the Urton Spike. Imagine if we would have been able to Urton Spike with the 280 HP Sandy Shocks. If it was damaged, then we could have retreated it and then finished it off. There were some capabilities, but us whiffing a turn really uh, yeah, pushed Charizard for the victory. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Hell's out in many ways. Go check out this funky uh, Sandy Shocks Raging Ball deck. It's so much fun to be playing around with. It's not the perfect list quite yet, but you guys can make it better. Also, go check out our sponsors, PotanStore.com for TCG Live code cards. 5% off using the coupon Zablos TCG. Dragon Shield for your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. You can use Zablos 5 for 5% off. There's YourPlayMat.com for 10% off you creating your own custom playmat. They ship worldwide. Definitely check it out. And CardMarket.com for European players. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG content. Peace.